Hey guys, it's Regant here and today I'm gonna show you how you can easily tame the Tulacoleon Arc. So let's go! So first a small information, it's, there's some special about the Tulacoleo, it spawns mainly in the Redwood biome and it can just stand on the tree, like climb on a tree and if you fly by, it will just knock you down off your, um, off your flying dino and just, yeah, drag you to the ground. I've searched like 30 minutes for one to show it to you, but I haven't found one. But now I'm going to show you a picture on how it looks like. You see two are there on this side on average. But yeah, first of all, the stats um, to knock it out, the head counts times 1.5. So make sure to hit his head to save some narcotics. Um, you can use a crossbow trank or anything else. So not that expensive. Uh, for a, such a strong dino. Um, food, of course, the best is kibble. Second would be cooked prime meat. Um, so very interesting, a small different to many other dinos. So yeah, make sure to use the correct food. It can be carried by Argentavis, a crystal vivon, a normal vivon and a cat. It spawns on all maps except Aberration, Genesis and Arc Mobile. The difficulty 3 out of 5 points because it's a little bit harder to tame him, but not that hard with my strategies, of course. And yeah, the stats are, of course, based of, on a level 150 Telacoleo. If you have a low one, you, of course, need less resources than here. Let's go! So, strategy number one is building a small, simple trap. Just a 2x2 two two foundation here and some door frames two walls high like oh not like this but yeah and then you also need a small ramp here like this and then of course you need it to lock Leo and if you found one just lure him up here and yeah you see he already hit him he's pretty quick but yeah, now he can't escape there and you can just start hitting him on his head to get the best efficiency here. Strategy number two is just grab him. You can use an Agent Havis, even though it looks pretty big compared to an Agent Havis. So it, yeah, he will make you some damage though, have some health on the Agent Havis, especially for a high ult like Leo. But yeah, just drop him in and now he can't escape again and you can start hitting him and knocking him out again. Strategy number one um, with metal billboards, just place three like this in this layout here and put in the middle a bear trap. Just wait until it's active. And then get the aggro of a Tulacoleo again and as soon as he's stuck in the trap, just close this whole thing up and now he is also stuck in here and you can start hitting him here right now. So, yeah. Another strategy, a little bit harder for the late game if you have already a very good weapon, for example. Um, yeah, just if you found one, just use a net gun. It won't last that long. If you have not an upgraded weapon, you won't be able to make it, so you need like a stronger weapon, an upgraded weapon, trank darts or something that, that you get it in time before he frees himself. Um, otherwise, you will get smashed by him very soon. And yeah. Uh, and you see, I already have a little bit better crossbow here right now, but I didn't made it in time. So make sure to use a good weapon on this strategy. So this is already the end of the video and the strategies to tame a Tulacoleon arc. I really hope you liked it and helped you to tame this beast. And yeah, hopefully see you in my next video and bye.